Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy. Today we'll talk about a property of the closure of a set or the accumulation points of a set. That property was used in the previous video and I think that property was not proved in any one of the previous videos so that's why today I'll talk about that property. So the relation of the closure of a set and the accumulation point is that the set of accumulation point is a subset of the set A. This thing implies that the set A is eventually a closed set. And if we know that a set is closed, then we can prove that the accumulation set is a subset of the set A. So there are two angles of this theorem. The first is the necessity and the second is the sufficiency or it is an if only if theorem so from the first point of view what I have to prove is if A is closed then our target is A prime is the subset of A and the second is if it is given then we have to prove this and if it is given that A prime is the subset of A then what we have to prove is that A is a closed set. So talking about this right now, it is given that A is a closed set and this is our target now. We know that if a set is closed then the closure of a set is equal to the set A. By this given condition we know this and we also know a relation of the accumulation set, the set and the closure of a set that is equal to A closure is equal to A union A prime. So if A is a closed set, so the closure of the set is equal to the set. We can replace A bar from A here and A is equal to A union A prime. If a is the answer of the union of the two sets then this thing implies that A is the biggest of both of them of this form. If we take union of the both of the sets we will have this whole set and this whole set is equal to A and this thing implies that A bar is a subset of A and this is proved by the given condition if A is closed. So by talking about the second way that if it is given that A bar is a subset of A, A prime is a subset of A, that is the accumulation set is a subset of A, then we have to prove that A is a closed set. So it is given A is a subset of A. So we know that if we take union of both of the terms A bar union A because A is a subset of A like this case then we will get the answer A but we know that A union A is equal to A bar as the relation was proved in one of the previous video so by comparing both of the terms we will see that A bar is equal to A eventually. So this thing implies that if the closure of the set is equal to the set, then the set must be closed. That its complement is open. So we have proved that if it is given A is a closed set, then we can prove A bar is a subset of A. But if it is given that A bar is a subset of A, then we can prove that A is a closed set. And this was really a simple property, but was really a useful property that tells uh, the two insights of the closure and the accumulation. So this is for now. If you're looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.